Hi, this is Tracy with Beyond 20. And today I just want to take a look at how to troubleshoot uh, emails that are coming in. So you might get a time uh, in your organization that uh, people are saying they're sending emails, they're not getting into service now, or they're not creating tickets. So what are the steps to do to actually troubleshoot that? Uh, so there are a couple places you can start. Um, the first one might be the diagnostics. Um, so if we go, uh, let's just search for email and then start typing diagnostics. Under system diagnostics, we have your email diagnostics. And this will give you kind of an overview of our things sending, our things receiving. We can see that currently mine aren't sending, mine aren't receiving. Uh, and the reason for this is I'm, I'm in a dev instance. I don't, I don't have that set up. Um, but in a production instance, in your uh, QA or dev instances, uh, these should really be all green if they're set up properly. So if you're not seeing green here, uh, odds are is you've got something set up incorrectly and you need to troubleshoot where, where exactly those are. Um, the next place you can take a look is going to be, let me go to my favorites here. Is gonna be this, this email all. So, um, what this is, this is just going to show all the emails. And if you want to get here, if you just go to sys underscore email dot list. This is going to show you all of the emails that are coming in, that are going out. Uh, and then what like the type is, we can see a lot of these are send ready. Now, we already know that mine isn't working. Uh, however, this is a good thing to take a look at is what is the type that's set here. So you can see some of these are actually sent. Um, these are probably ones from, that are just out of the box. Let me just go through a couple more of these. Just take a look at them. A lot of these are sent. Um, so if you're kind of troubleshooting things that were coming in, one thing to check is going to be down here in your email log. What this will show you is it's going to go through all of your inbound actions based on the order you have set. And we'll see, you can see right there if they have failed or if they've succeeded. Generally, what I like to do is create an inbound action that has the, the furthest order away I can just as a catch all of a just in case kind of scenario. Now, depending on your organization, you may or may want to not want to create this. Um, but the organizations, a lot of the organizations that I've worked with uh, have wanted to do this. This isn't something you have to do, uh, but just something that, like I said, I've done in the past. Uh, and then you can also troubleshoot your inbound actions too. So if it's, you go through the list, you see it's failed the inbound action that you think it should have succeeded on, then you can go to your inbound actions and determine what was the cause? Why did this not actually succeed on the inbound action that I thought it was going to? So these are the two major points that I would check. If you're not receiving emails, and your diagnostics look fine, your email diagnostics that we looked at before, and uh, your email log, you don't see that, or it's not even showing up in your email at all. Like this, this sys underscore email dot list, it's not showing up here. Then there's another issue. Oftentimes it's gonna be with your spam filter uh, or your email accounts. So double check those. I've had, I've seen issues in both of those where people have said that, oh, it's a service now issue. And we start to troubleshoot and it's, if it's not showing up in here, that means service now never saw it, right? So if service now never saw it, it's not really a service now issue. There's something on top of it, uh, something before it got to service now. Oftentimes in my experience, it's been, like I said, a spam filter has caught it before. Uh, or there's just some issue on uh, Fees Office 365, for instance, some issue on the Microsoft uh, side. Uh, and it could be there's a Microsoft outage too. Uh, I've had uh, troubleshooting come up with uh, that people think it's a ServiceNow issue, and then what we really find is it becomes a, a Microsoft issue. Um, so there, those are the couple ways that uh, you can quickly kind of go through and determine where the issue is with that email, if it's a ServiceNow issue, if it's a separate issue.
uh, and then if it is a ServiceNow issue, how do you go about troubleshooting those emails? So thanks for joining me today. That's all I've got. Have a great day.